Aha, hello everyone. On to the epitome of everything I hate in one pair of sunglasses. That's a great way to start this review, isn't it? This is the brand new One Way, and it's not a name I'm gonna sit here and struggle with for an hour because it's super simple. Hmm, who knew that could happen? Anyways, let's dive into it and have some fun with a look at the brand new One Way from Maui Gym. And if you're anything like me, that song is now permanently singing in your head and we're gonna get you. And you're gonna get you a pair of these and that's <laughs> that's all I've got to say about it. Video reviews over, just get one. It's the, if you're looking for sunglasses and you don't have something like this in your collection, it is an incredible one to consider. As I said, it is the epitome of everything I hate in a pair of sunglasses. The reason for that is because it is everything normal in a pair of sunglasses. Black chassis gray lenses, square, rectangular-ish, classic, simple, everything I hate in one pair of sunglasses that it possibly can be. But if you're looking and shopping for something like this, it is a really nicely made one to add to the collection. Very well worth being in the wardrobe. It's got a decent balance on it. It's a little nose heavy for me, but that's more for me, and that is just because there isn't quite enough splay here in the bridge, again, for me. The overall fit is still good. As you can see, we're sitting and flowing really nicely on the bridge. You can tell here it's bumped up just a little bit more, and again, that's because just not quite enough splay there. I'd say for the average person, it's gonna be really good. For me, it's just a little narrow. The overall look of the frame is definitely not narrow, hitting this cheek really nicely through here, always like to see that to wear a good medium to large, just a nice wide range here. More petite faces will be able to wear this well for the same reason I don't wear it super well it is because that bridge runs just a little bit more slim because it doesn't have quite as much splay to it. You definitely got the idea with this because it's gonna be a little bit more of an oversized look on a smaller face because that is kind of what is going on. Right? Still everybody's loving oversize. This is a little bit smaller than the huge oversize we've seen for a few years, but it gets the job done. One detail I do like, and I don't think it picks up on camera super well, is the way the extension is here. It's just really clean and sharp. You can see it more on the back side. It's actually a division here. I haven't bothered to take the screw out, but there is a screw holding this together and the acetate slides in. So the lenses, are actually held in by a screw on this. And I am very, very, very... <laughs> yep, we're gonna do it. Hold on. Yeah, I, it's just, you know, we have to see these things, right? So it's extremely unusual to see a screw in an acetate frame. Oh, oh, this is, this is gonna be interesting. So the, it's actually, more like a bolt on both sides. I don't know, the camera's not gonna catch that, but slotted hole on this side and on this side. So yeah, I am extremely intrigued here and I'm probably going to regret this decision any moment now, but you get to explore with me. We're taking this guy apart because I've never seen an acetate with a bolt. Whew, I didn't lose it. Uh, yeah, so this, <laughs> this is different, okay? I just haven't seen this before. The, this is very, very nice, actually. I don't, this is an injection nylon frame, so they've actually reinforced this pretty well. I think, what was the price point on these guys? Two, that's absurd. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, but the details are well thought out. This is an injection made frame and I can tell that because of the lines we've got here. Again, not showing up on camera and not really knocking the frame because injection is the way to make an nylon frame and make it really good. But it's extremely interesting that they've chosen to reinforce this with a bolt and sleeve combination here. I've seen Porsche design do it before, but I haven't really seen it done much in other frames. 
So we do have this, a glass lens in these, so that's always good to see. And uh, yeah, I just think that's a really interesting design choice. Uh, certainly unexpected. Caught me off guard so much that we had to go in and do this on camera because that's just me and that's how we do things is if I'm going to deal with it, I'm going to touch it, and I'm going to see it every day and have to figure out how to put the damn thing together, then I am going to know how to put the damn thing together. If that means taking it apart and having a thousand pieces laying everywhere and then crying myself to sleep because I can't put it back together. I'm kidding. I've never done that in a long time. And it's also interesting because that barrel, it must be a square. There's something that sleeve stays in place really well on the top. I didn't have to do anything to get that out. And we've got our screws for the hinges. That is actually a spring hinge and a nylon. That's impressive too. So a lot of things I do like about this. We've also got full adjustability back here, which is always nice to see. One thing I will say, the sleeve on this one seems to want to slide just a little bit. You know, it's not a huge deal. I just think at a $300 price point for it to come out of the box doing that. Eh. But as a staple pair of sunglasses to cover all your bases and still perform really, really well, still pretty decently balanced, even with the glass lens in there, it's not super heavy, again, because of that nylon material. It's balanced pretty well because of these metal inserts back here to make it more adjustable. As I mentioned, very easily adjustable, which is good and bad, right? Because now I've got to sit here and mess with it to get it back to how I like it for sunglasses. There we go. A little bit more slide on easy. There's a tip for you, by the way. The more straight back this is, the more easily it slides on and off. But also, yes, the more easily it slides on and off. You got to find that right balance for you where it's easy to take off, easy to put on but doesn't fall off. And I can do it that quickly, except for this guy here, which is why it's over here. I'm just still messing with that one. Hmm. Ah, yes. So for a pair of sunglasses that are super signature and solid, easy to put in any collection, I really like this matte black on black, even though I don't generally like just a basic black combination. As I mentioned, these are everything I hate in one single pair of sunglasses. And yet, it works. Why it works? I don't know, but it's okay. It's clean. Definitely well worth adding to the collection, especially if you're a fan of Maui Gym. I, I really like the hinge on these, as I may have mentioned. It's got a nice feel to it. You don't see that a lot in frames, but I guess for $300 for this, it's uh, definitely welcome because a good hinge feel is everything. <laughs> hmm. That's my take on the one way, and that's the way that it is. Now, yeah, let me know your thoughts on these. If you've picked one up, awesome. If you plan on picking one up, let me know your thoughts from this video or if you actually did get one. If you're considering it and you haven't done it yet, do me a favor, go to the links down below. I do have an affiliate link for the Maui Gym store. If you're buying a direct from Maui Gym, we just get a little bit of kickback to support the channel. And I do mean a little bit. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope this helped you make your decision on the one way, which hopefully is why you're here. Or you're trying to figure out what that screw is over there and <laughs> successfully figured that out too. There you go. I'll catch you guys next time.